Hey boys and girls, today we are going to read African Animals at Night. Um, it was written by Judith Lechner. And who can tell me what is this of the book? The front. And what is this of the book? The back. And what is this? The spine. And where is your spine? All the whoopie back. And what does it do for you? It holds your bones together. And what does the spine of a book do? It holds the pages together. Who draws the pictures in a book? The illustrator. And who writes the words? The author. And what is this right here? The title. All right. Africa is home to some of nature's most famous animals. How many of these animals can you name? All right, so let's see. What are these? Zebras. And what are these? Lions. Oh, and what are these right here? Antelope. Would you like to learn some facts about these animals? All right, here we go. What are these? Hippos. And what are these? A rhino. Are these hippos taking a bath? They are sort of. Hippos wade in the water all day to stay cool, and at night they come out of the river and eat grass. Hippos walk many miles to get enough grass to eat, and they walk and eat all night. Like hippos, rhinos rest most of the day and eat all night. It takes a lot of grass to fill up an up an animal as, as huge as a rhino. Baby rhinos stay close to their mothers in the dark night. You see the baby? It's a big baby. At night, elephants walk about too, and they walk in large groups of mothers and children. Elephants also sleep at night. The oldest mother elephant leads the group, and together the elephant explore the land, and they walk many miles looking for grass, plants, and water. See the elephants and their line? So they said that the old one, which would be this one, is the line leader to all of the elephants. Does anybody know what these are? Oh, let's find out. Do you see the bright eyes in the trees? They are bush babies. Another name for them is Galagos. These small animals have soft fur and long nails. Bush babies can hold an object in their hands like you can. Can you tell what this one is holding? What is that? Must be some kind of fruit. Can you see it hanging from the tree here? Lions sleep most of the day and sometimes up to 20 hours. Most animals won't disturb a sleeping lion. At night, several lions hunt together and some wait in the tall grass. Others sneak up on zebras and antelope. So what are these? Lions. And what is this one right here? A zebra. Lions are good hunters and they can see well in the dark and they can smell other animals and they can hear animals moving in the grass. These baby lions are sleeping in the tall grass and their mother was gone for two days. She was hunting with other lions and the mother lion has fed herself. Now she comes back to nurse her babies. You see the babies? How many babies does she have? One, two, three, four. Four babies. Who knows what this is? A leopard. Another hunter sits in a tree. Can you tell who this hunter is by his spots? It is a leopard. He hunts at night, and he hunts alone. A leopard can catch a large antelope. Then he brings it up into a tree, away from other animals, and he can eat the meat for two or three days. You see him sitting up there? Oh, what are those? Oh, a bunch of zebras. Zebras look like horses with stripes, and they eat and drink all day and much of the night, too. While they eat, one zebra watches for lions and leopards. Which one is watching, do you think? Ooh, that one could be maybe more than one. There's another one. Let's count and see how many zebras we see. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 zebras. Did you count that? How tall do you think this animal is? What is that? A giraffe. He's almost as tall as a two-story building. Giraffes usually sleep standing up. And sometimes, though, they do sleep on the ground. Giraffes have very strong legs and feet, and they can kick and even hurt a lion. Giraffes can also run very fast. Oh, what are these over here? Do y'all know what those are called? Oh, let's find out. Hyenas sleep during the day at night. And at night, they look for food. Hyenas look for animals that are already dead. Sometimes, they will hunt for small animals, too. While the hyenas hunt, their babies sleep under the ground. Look carefully for the two tiny babies. What color are they? Do you see those babies? What color are those? Black. When the babies are big, they will be yellow with black spots, though, just like their mamas. Ooh, what are those? Hippos. Night and elephants and zebras. Ooh, I see some more up here. Do you see those? Night is over and now it is day. Lions and leopards sleep. So do bush babies, hyenas and rhinos. Hippos go back in the water. And elephants and zebras and giraffes all eat the grass under the hot African sun. The end. So who can tell me where the um, hyenas babies were at? Do y'all remember where they were at? Yeah, they were in the hole underneath the ground. What other animals makes holes for their babies? Do y'all know? Rabbits. Rabbits digs holes and they make little holes and they have their babies in it. All right, so that is it on the reading today. I'll be back in a little bit to do um, some reviewing of shapes, letters, colors, numbers. All right, thanks. Bye, guys.